In Italy, the Alfa Romeo Museum in Arese is a sacred place filled with some of the most beautiful cars ever made. Inside is a history that spans over 100 years, but even Alfa admit that in the last decade or so, the brand has gone down the wrong path. But Alfa Romeo is going back to what it is most loved for, building beautiful rear-wheel drive cars that perform as good as they look. Behold the 2016 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. This is the car that will spearhead Alfa's $8 billion return to form and take on the German might of BMW and Mercedes-Benz. It's gone from a clean sheet of paper to this in just two years. At the heart is a twin-turbo 3-litre V6, which Alfa says will pump out a benchmark 380 kilowatts. That's enough to rocket this thing from 0 to 100 in just 3.9 seconds, faster than the C63 and M3. Those are serious numbers, but this is a serious looking car with twin heat extractors on the bonnet and carbon fibre everywhere from this deep front splitter, the side skirts and the lip spoiler on the boot. I especially like the view from back here, particularly these massive quad pipes and this serious looking diffuser that would look more at home on a GT racer. It's got huge 285 Pirellis down here to get that power down. Up front are these massive carbon ceramic brakes to arrest the colossal speeds that this thing is capable of. Inside, the Julia is quite the departure from the fussy dashboards of Alpha's recent past. A clean layout with lashings of carbon fibre, metallic accents and blends of leather and alcantara look decidedly premium. It's spacious too, thanks to having a longer wheelbase than the competition. There's even a new logo to signify a new era for Alfa Romeo. Australia won't see the Giulia till late 2016, but hopefully we'll get the opportunity to drive it long before that. Stay tuned.